This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 20.19.11. Assignments includes a new column that highlights the number of new submissions or resubmissions. This feature implements PI item D5396. A new column will now identify new and resubmitted assignments. Letter grading is available in assignments. You can apply select box grade items to an assignment and any select box grade item can use an organization level grade scheme without being required to copy that scheme into a specific course. Grade schemes have also been reordered and follow a default of highest grade to lowest display. API routes have been added to enable the creation of select box grade items. This feature implements PI items D3152, D805, D3109, and D479. When you create and evaluate an assignment, you can now use select box grade items. In the evaluation panel, navigate to score. Click the score drop down and select the letter grade the learner has achieved from the provided scale. Then, continue to provide feedback. You can now add images to intelligent agent emails using add image in the HTML editor. When creating an intelligent agent, click insert image. Select the file location. Then, for this example, drag and drop a file onto the upload target. Then, click add. Your image displays in line. An option to import program outcomes created by administrators at the organization level is now available. As an instructor, you can also create child outcomes for program outcomes at the course level. This feature implements PI item D5117. You can now import customized program standards. Click Import from Program. Next, select the program standard from the drop-down. Then, select applicable standards to import into your course. When you are ready, click Import Selected Standards. Your outcomes display. To create your own learning outcome, click Add Standard. Enter your learning outcome. When you are ready, click Save. Your learning outcome displays. To create a child outcome, click the context menu of the outcome you want to edit and select Add Lower Level Standard. More in-depth information around feedback and the complete context of an assignment is visible in the Outcomes Progress page in User Progress. Learning outcomes can no longer be added to a course from the Lessons New Content Experience. There is now a link to the Standards Management page in the Lessons New Content Experience. Quiz feedback can be saved in draft and mass published in QuickEval. Quiz restoration can only be completed on the latest deleted attempt, and restoration cannot be completed while an attempt is in progress. You can now easily identify when feedback is saved or published. The quiz evaluation experience now uses the Publish and Save Draft buttons used in other assessment tools for consistency. Additional quizzing options, such as making a question bonus or mandatory, 
are now available in the Quiz Builder experience. From the Quiz Builder experience, select the checkbox for the question you want to edit. Click More Actions. To toggle Bonus, Toggle Mandatory, or change the point value of a question. You can now set default viewing experiences for SCORM, and content providers can select the launch experience. Video Note now uses the content service. This change removes flash based recording options. You can now attach pre existing video notes in the Record Video workflow. Thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe.